Hello everybody. Hope everyone is well and fine. So today we are going to learn about shift register. So I have designed two shift register over here. That is serial in serial out and serial in parallel out with the help of D flip flop. The first circuit which you can see over here in front of you in the screen is the serial in serial out shift register where I have taken four D flip flop. So indirectly I am talking about four bits and you can see I have taken set and reset okay for the flip flop and in place of clock I have taken a single pole double through switch okay so that you can easily see the movement of data through these flip flops okay if at all I can take a clock over here okay the movement will be fast because the high frequency of the clock and you will not be able to observe the data <coughs> or the movement of the data right so that is the only reason I have taken uh, uh, switch over here okay later when you understand the concept you can replace the switch with the clock and you can uh, repeat the same process right and in terms of uh, in data uh, I have taken a digital constant over here which is giving data to this D flip flop and from the same point I have taken a link to uh, this switch which will be giving me uh, one that is positive cycle of the clock okay will represent with one and negative with the ground right so let's start the simulation and have a look so here I started the simulation over here now you can see the uh, D flip flop of the, of, uh, of the first part uh, of this uh, circuit is receiving 1 from this digital constant so now I am going to change this uh, switch which is acting as a clock and I will see after 4 pulse uh, 1 should appear over here on the probe or LED right so let's have a check 1 2 3 4 so you can see uh, we are getting the data over here okay with the four clock pulse now uh, i can do the same thing for zero also but here i have taken a single connection over here you can replace this connection with a switch and you can change it to zero again repeat this uh, clock pulse over here you'll find after four clock pulses it is coming to zero that you can try at your end okay so this is all about my serial in and serial out shift register now move on to serial in parallel out so this is the circuit for serial in parallel out okay so here's the same thing I have taken a switch okay uh, to represent the clock over here and for data I have taken a switch and here I have independently taken two digital constants okay and because this serial in parallel out I have taken four probe or LED you can say which will give me the output for this uh, flip flops okay so let us start the process so you can see initially I am giving zero okay and here I am giving clock is also zero so let the data input should be zero and I am putting one to this so my zero is entered over here okay so it's the first clock pulse i had given so zero entered now i'm going to the negative clock pulse and i'm giving data as one then again i'm giving the second clock pulse you'll see the one is coming that means what the zero is shifted to over here and one is coming to this in the second clock pulse now the third clock pulse i'm giving again zero so let me give the third clock pulse so the third clock pulse i had given so you can see uh, it is 0 over here that means this is the first data the second data is the third data so 0 1 0 entered in the third clock pulse okay now let me make the clock pulse negative and I am keeping this one again to 1 so the fourth clock pulse I will be giving so when the moment I give the fourth clock pulse you find all the data are in the output see 0 come over here then 1 then 0 and the initial data which is 1 is coming over here so in four clock pulses okay all the data are out so this is what I want to show you in uh, this circuit so this justify the work of serial in parallel out okay i hope you have enjoyed the video and understood the concept thank you for watching my video